my pleasure being here. It's an honor to be had. Tell me about the business side of your life, man. Is it actually a profitable? You know you are a businessman. I know you. <laughs> I know you. How's your business? Well, let's just say uh, it's not yet at that point where it's making profit, but it's uh, growing. We are it's all growing, trying to grow. And I'm happy with the way that it's growing. So let's keep at it. When we break even and then to a market, to a little kamulu, to a little safanya. I think I'm to a big time. Would you throw an event at that plot, though? Well, my place, just for friends and family. True Because I really like my space being my space. Okay. So that there's that privacy. But then throwing parties is definitely one thing that I like doing. I like hosting people. <laughs> Shere, like, Shere. Really, it's not even about the Shere. I get it. I'm just a person who likes to host people. I like to see people have fun. I like to see people enjoy themselves. Queen. I like to see people connect in a way that, you know, it's just crazy. So I understand. I would definitely be throwing a couple of events in future. I don't know. If I would ask you where you would throw an event here in the 254, where would you actually throw an event? See, this is going to sound a bit uh, bougie, <laughs> but party at the museum. At the museum? Yeah. Haven't I seen a few events being thrown at the National Museum? You're yeah, they about? do throw a few mu events. Yeah. But then, I don't know. What's the vibe you're going for? Um, Friends of friends. <laughs> friends of yani, friends. Yani, the, the girl then brings a friend. No, no, no. <laughs> Everybody is a friend. So when you come True here, that. you're amongst friends. Ah, so, so it's a vibe. You don't come here worried about who is going to steal your phone. You don't come here worried about Nenda Kupigwangeta Wapi. You don't come here looking to start a fight. Uh, See, we think of it as a Sunday, Sunday afternoon brunch with the firm. Ooh, sounds like a vibe. Yes, and then you're, there's all this art surrounding you, and then there's food, there's, you know, people dancing just everywhere you. everything is picture perfect so to speak personally i think that the national park would be an area i would throw an event just because of the vibe and i do not know what the listener thinks right there you better reach out and let us know on the handle at on twitter if you're ready to party let me hear you scream and of course i'm joined with ken himself in studio what's up what's up you were letting us know about the place you would throw an event yeah i'm actually interested other than the museums actually i'd like to go to almost every museum from the national museum of kenya mm. the new one at uhuru park oh uh, is it uhuru park or uhuru gardens it's uhuru gardens uhuru gardens yes uhuru. park is close to the town Park is the Strauss. So Uhuru Gardens, I'd like mm. to throw a party in that new museum. Okay. Uh, the Karen Blixen Museum. What? There's a museum in Karen? Yeah, the Karen Blixen House. All right. I'd like to throw a party there. Um, there's this, uh, I don't know whether it's a, the library or an... Wapi Apo. Just beside the mosque, there's yeah. this like really old colonial imperial looking building. I think it's a library, I think it's a that museum. That would be I'm like sure. a costume party in the library, sio? Imagine a Halloween party up with you. Sasa my chefs zimeekwa tu makobo. Makobo, of course. Skeletons hanging around. Now, I would want to do that. What did you do for Halloween, Ken? Nah, this time, I, I honestly, I was home. I was home. This time, I wasn't doing much. I just had a drink by myself, chilling. I Sounds had a lot going on. What did you like do for vibes. Halloween? Honestly, I ate well that day. Ah, thank the Lord, and I slept well too. The media day that's happening here on the 17th. Really? Yes. Let me know about it. Um, so USIU Radio, USIU Journalism Club have come together and they've decided that they're going to be holding a media event. Ooh. So we're inviting media stakeholders, we're inviting a few prominent people to come and give talks, have panel discussions. We're inviting TV stations, we're inviting radio stations. So it's going to be like, this place is going to just be cameras and reporters everywhere. What? It sounds like this is a revolutionary step. Well, that is the idea. We're trying to make it, uh, we're trying to bring the media practitioners together to one table. Okay. Those who are already in the industry and those who are learning to be there so that we've got people who are doing it now and those who are going to be doing it having conversations so that there's this continuity mm -hmm. in the knowledge that is being transmitted so that we know what's best practice and we're innovative so that there's no disconnect. Big shout out to the media team right here on 
USIU campus. And Let's of course, big shout out to the communications department because every all of them are supporting us on this. They've come out with full two backers full in the whole department. So from Dr. Njoroge, all the way to Prof. Mutua, everyone over there. It's massive. Thanks to them. A big thanks to them. And let's throw the listeners back into the music. You are tuned into the Rebels show right here on 99.9 USIU FM. Good afternoon, good people. This is 99.9 USIU FM. It's time we put you in a new way with the best thing around campus. Good vibes. This is his squad. Good vibes.